this is a software developed during my last work at one of the ISPs in Bangladesh uh, we are still developing this software it is uh, our site plant planning designing and management software as you can see the Bangladesh map is very much highlighted on the left side we have got layers of the entities that is installed in the fields by, by the companies and also we can use the same software for planning the fiber routes with all the field entities that is to be installed in the field on the left side you can see it is highlighted now TJ box TJ is terminal joint box which is spice box usually four to six core going to the customer T box is the dome type spice box having usually 24 crore spice box then comes the splitter splitter is for FTTH and the icon is shown one input black and several outputs and the dome box which is bigger spice box is, is in magenta color so now we will go to one of the customer premises or the customers to highlight how we can get information about the customers so when once the customer icon is clicked on the left side all the customers are sh uh, shown in the map and um, it is green bubble a water droplet with red dots and the cable cores on the left side are featured 24 core is blue 12 core is mustard color green is 6 core deep brown is 4 core so when you bring your cursor to the cable on the colors the balloon will pop up showing you if you want to get the details about that one or not right now we have clicked one of the customer icons and the details of that customer is being exhibited on this drop down report and most of the software has been designed so that users can get, get accurate information from the field at that particular point so first the bubble will appear on that usually the get details icon or the clickable options will be there and if you click that one the whole picture details whatever has been input by the uh, installer that will be exhibited are shown here are the cable details are shown for a particular cable so information i think it is four core cable and splitter cables are also shown here we can close it and go back to a certain splice box of 24 core these are in magenta in color as shown here get details and it will give you the details of that one the biggest advantage of this software is that the core to core link up is joined in the table by colors this is preferably done for the technicians who understands color in the field better than the numberings in case of colors they don't have to count the numbers and the works may be done faster and easier to understand also easier to grasp whatever is going on in the field so this was uh, uh, this is a pretty advantage advantageous option that has been implemented in this software right now we can see ring networks as the splitter networks similarly joining of the adapter core to core is done with colors closing this one will come back to the settings uh, splitter splitter detail once it is opened up usually 1 is to 32 splitters are mostly used in this particular company so here it is shown how many connectivity is given and to which customer the splitter output has gone to the report can be exported through excel and csv file also printed directly or as a pdf file 
So a lot of reports can be created with the option of exporting the data from a particular table of these geographical reports. This is the icon of a pop which is in terms of height. Once you click it, the average summary of the pop in terms of field entities is given. Total customers connected from this pop is 127. Total fiber length installed is 85 kilometers. Total spice box bigger one is 3. Total terminal join box is 298. Total ODV is 2. And total number of splitters installed is 7. So splitters were being installed later in this particular company. Then again we also get the AutoCAD PDF image of the plants. Also we can get the cable summary from the graphical display on this side. This has been made smaller to accommodate all the reports here. Once you click the AutoCAD PDF drawing, this is the plan showing for that particular pop. This can be updated from the AutoCAD user section also. We have clicked now the rack details <coughs> and say the rack details and we can find out also other details from the AutoCAD PDF converted files too. Now we'll go to the settings, the different settings are there. The transmission equipment, whatever transmission equipment has been installed in the inside plant or the, the pop equipment room that can be shown here. We can add new equipment and new equipment ports can be configured as per the port input output of that particular model. And this has to be done manually in terms of database in configuration files. Also we can come to the OLT setting. This is the OLTs where it is uh, connected at the pop and <coughs> all the details can be given from there. All the splitter details are here which is connected to what type of splitter 1 is to 16 or 1 is to 32 all is given here as by input by the installer or the record keeper. One good thing about this uh, system is that we have used two inputs for the splitters and up to 128 outputs uh, are for the out, uh, ratios and in Bangladesh it is 1 is to 64 that works better 2 is to in 64 multiple output splitters are yet to be used in Bangladesh but the Chinese vendors told us they can do it only additional port of the OLT will be used this is needed for redundancy and protection for the fibers which are often cut in aerial scenario in Bangladesh and coming back to the map, we can show that we have got other features coming in this one also. The map icon is here on the right corner. The map used here is background is Google, but you can you customize your own map through QGIS, which is a very good option for this uh, software developed by ourselves and there are some maps which are not in detail in Google's but if you use your own map you can put all those details in the map and use that one too. This software can be used offline too and this is the one of the greatest advantage of this software. Thank you very much.